In any given situation, there are multiple ways of viewing it. And this is something we call perceptual positions. There are basically three perceptual positions. There's the first perspective, the second perspective, and the third perspective. The first perspective is where we stand in our own shoes and we see things through, through our own view and we think about only our own emotions. And in some ways it's a, a rather selfish view. Um, and if you spend too much time in it, then it is a selfish view. But some people don't spend enough time in it and really need to spend more time in it to gain a better understanding of their own emotions. The second perspective is where we put ourselves into other people's shoes. And this is where we understand things from the other person's perspective. We understand how they're feeling, what they're experiencing, and what they really need. And for people who don't spend enough time in this position, they'll find they have a lot of relationship problems and people don't like them very much. But for people who spend too much time in this position, they tend to cave in too much to other people's demands and can sometimes be quite soft and have very low self-esteem sometimes. And the final, the third position is called the, uh, well, it's where we step out. It's called the third position because we step outside and take a third person view, an objective view where there are no emotions and we kind of stand on the sidelines and observe our own behavior and the other person's behavior in response to our behavior. So there was an example of a general manager of a manufacturing company that I worked with in Zhuhai in Guangdong in the south of China. And she had an interesting situation where about uh, 10 people had been, give, had been given a pay rise and about seven of them got a 10% pay rise, but then three of them got a 30% pay rise. And as always happens, people talk and the people who got the 10% pay rise found out that there were others there who got a 30% pay rise. And naturally they weren't very happy. So one day these seven people, they stormed into her office, into the general manager's office and they were complaining that they only got a 10% pay rise whilst all these other people got a 30% pay rise. And they were talking about how expensive things are and how it's difficult to buy a house now in China and how they've worked so hard and felt they were underappreciated. Now, Echo, the name of the general manager, if she only stayed in the first perspective, then she would be thinking through her own emotions. And her own emotions would have been that she's frustrated that these people are standing in her office complaining and she also thought that they were being unfair and overly demanding and this would have just caused her to get very very frustrated and her own behavior would have been perhaps anger she would have perhaps snapped at them as well and caused a lot of distance between herself and those seven people then she could have stepped into second perspective where she could have understood that actually you know, they have worked hard and they've seen other people who they think have worked as hard as them get a much higher pay rise and they really feel that this is unfair. And if she spends too much time in this position, then she would have actually probably caved into their demands. She would have felt really, really sorry for them. She would have forgot about the company's policies and her own needs as well, her own budgeting needs, and she would have given them the 30% uh, the pay rise. But this would have probably meant that in the future people would view her as being soft and people would start to take advantage of her. Instead what she did was she stepped into the third perspective where she stood on the sidelines and she watched her own behavior and understood her own needs and the company's needs and she also understood her staff's needs as well and she tried to find a win-win solution. And so the win-win solution that she found was she stuck by company policy and she explained look According to, uh, to our performance measures and our company policy, you've been awarded this 10% pay rise because you fit the standards for a 10% pay rise. If you want a 30% pay rise, then we need to fit the standards for a 30% pay rise. And she showed them what the standards and criteria were. And she said, so we can work together to figure out how you can work to get to this 30% level, what things you need to do, and I'm willing to give you each all the support you need and any training and development solutions you need. And so after this encounter, the staff left and they didn't get their 30% pay rise, but they left with a suitable solution that was satisfactory to both them and Echo, the general manager. So to summarize the first perspective, if Echo stayed in the first perspective, she would have been very frustrated and she probably would have snapped at the staff and caused a lot of distance between them. 
And then she could have stepped into the second perspective where she would have only viewed things from their perspective and forgot about the company's needs and caved into their demands. But what she did was she, spent, she went into the third perspective. She took into account her own needs, the company's needs and their needs, and she worked to find a win-win solution.